It's just great that we're seeing a mobilisation of a young voter demographic. You know, as a, as a company that employs an average age of 25, it, it's great to see that people are taking a stand. Hello, Hello, Alex Burgess. You looked quite stressed the last two days. You actually right. look like a different yeah. person, though. Eh? You were walking past sort of with stomping feet and a bit of a scowl. You just yeah. seemed very relaxed. It's always busy at this time because people take the rest of their annual leave, so it's quite hard to get things done. Are we are we slowing down then? I think next week's going to be our biggest week of the year. We've got a lot of stuff on the table, and there'll be year-long projects. That takes a lot of back and forth. So we're opening our Christmas presents early? Christmas may come early, who knows? I think, what are you up to today? I'm generally inquiring about people's voting habits. I know it's a personal issue and people can get tetchy but I that's your polling card have you been no I'm Indeed. going after work I've got the uh, the wind in my sails I've voted done my bit for democracy give us a sign guys you discussing politics <laughs> not, no? not for now these were the woods <laughs> on the way to my polling station oh my god how fucking scary is that at 7 a.m. would you like to anonymously tell me who you voted for I will be voting you told me. Yes. No, I feel Loud and proud. No, I don't feel awkward. You voted obviously. Of course, yeah. How long has that been your party? You know, since my ancestors founded it. it. Must be quite nice for you to observe the madness. I wouldn't say it's nice to observe the madness, but it's interesting for sure, compared to Sweden. I mean, we have crazy issues there as well. I don't know much about it actually, so I'm in ignorant bliss. I'm just gonna enjoy being Swedish and a Viking and not having a choice today. Well, it's interesting that all the campaigns now have moved onto digital. Jeremy Coyne wants to give away free broadband, and therefore more people can view social media. That is a good thing. If you could vote, you can't vote, can you? Okay. I was gonna say who you vote, you'd ask to tell me. That's illegal, as I found out today. What do you mean? It said on the, the banner today, it said it's illegal to ask. It says it's against the law. Well, this is gonna be one illegal episode. Over the last few years, we've seen a massive increase in young voters, or voters who take a lot of pride in, in having their say over the course of these referendums and, and general elections, and we've had a few of them. It's been a social media warfare this election. Labour have done a really good job getting the, the social media savvy voter on side. The Tories have traditionally been quite coy on social media, but even Boris has been pretty vocal, probably putting out five, six tweets a day. The live Open actually a uh, video that I went thought out. It was, I thought it was really good. No? Didn't like it? Uh, I'm a fan of anybody giving shit a go. His character is not there so much for social media. That's never really been, one, the Tories thing, never really been Boris's thing, but Corbyn's done a great job of it. It's just great that we're seeing a mobilization of a young voter demographic. You know, as a, as a company that employs an average age of 25, it, it's great to see that people are taking a stand. So we've teamed up with Uber yep. and they're doing something nice for NHS this Christmas, all the NHS workers. And they're giving two free Uber rides and two free Uber Eats vouchers, I think like £10 each to all NHS workers. They've just got to put in their NHS number basically. So we're doing a mixture of stuff. So we've got Dr. Alex and he did like a kind of like a carpool karaoke vibe Pretty video. Good. Yeah, and basically he got in an Uber pool and then various doctors and nurses or NHS workers from the hospital that he works in got in with him and yep. were talking about the Christmases. They Word. So the slogan is hashtag holiday heroes. And it's basically like heroing the NHS workers, making people's Christmas special. It's really cute. Aww. And then we've also got influencers posting on Instagram talking about times they've been in hospital. I know one influencer is actually having chemo and she got like all of the staff involved with her to basically thank them. And obviously the main thing is about the NHS workers and heroing them, but we also just want to spread the word. It's not really to promote Uber, it's just to promote the fact that you can get free rides and, and brands should be doing good stuff like that. Yeah, like help yeah. a busy time, I'm sure. For exactly. Exactly. So we want to spread the word, so yeah. tag NHS workers. Can I ask you quickly? I've been my good friend. Go on. You go around sort of, ha not hassling people, but communicating with people. Communicating with people, yeah. Do you do that quite a lot? I like to be in the know. Let's know what's going on. How often do you kind uh, of get out and mingle? Me and Burgess, always on the floor. What's I don't ever on? sit down. That's why I like this job. I don't ever have to, really. It's important to know what's going on. Me, Alex and Frank doing everything day to day with all the clients and different campaigns, it's really important that we're talking to all the different people. And sometimes we get caught behind WhatsApp and other messaging services. Yeah. People in the team are bad cases of that. And then actually getting people to talk and move and get up and do things together is really, really important. 
It's had a call with someone from Nashville, I'm quite jealous. Nashville, Tennessee? Yeah, man. Yeah. Are you working on US stuff? Uh, well, it was actually an agency. They own like loads and loads of different faceless pages and stuff like that. Right. Obviously, a lot of our work will be really helped by developing, obviously, relationships with these agencies yeah. so that we can, you know, access all these massive faceless pages. Surprisingly, they're actually quite hard for people to get in touch with, you know, when you can't put a face to a page. How did really go? The really good, really nice guy. It's actually 11 a.m. there, so uh, I originally booked the call at 11 a.m. here, and then he, he emailed me and he was like, hey, man, um, I'm not going to be awake at 5 a.m. <laughs> I thought faceless pages didn't have to sleep. Apparently they do, man. As the, uh, as the day comes to a close, we seem to be putting up more Christmas decorations ahead of the Christmas party. Tom Freeman is... Six foot two, mate. Made for the gel. Cheers. Excellent. Thank you very much. This is classic Ryan Wilson, actually. Ryan Wilson, post 6pm, only ever walks across the office on tables. He refuses to use the floor. The place very much the floor is lava. The next time you see a vlog, well, this week of vlogs coming up is going to be Christmas party heavy, which I'm, you know, going to put some precursors and some warnings against. There could be any content coming out of the back of that, but, you know, that makes it a bit more exciting. But, yeah, we're on the ramp up to Christmas now. Now. Lots is going on, lots being planned, both client side and also internally. Everyone will be here over the Christmas period. Been a been a good day, and we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. This is. Reshoot. In you go. This is amazing. Don't mind the size difference as well. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> just really That's perfect. That's <laughs>